Hey, what's up, you guys? So we got the bike apart again. So we're going to be painting a couple things on it that I've been wanting to do since we got it. Um, we're going to be painting the rims and then painting the inners as well. Uh, we're going to be doing black on the outside and then we're going to be doing gold. So since we already got the black with the gold going, we're going to go with that. And then we also have um, a couple more things we're going to be doing to the bike. So first, we will start with uh, prepping all these parts, getting them ready for paint, and then we'll paint them up. We'll let them dry, and then we can get started on the next stuff. Okay, so I started already taking off that rim. There's the two pieces of the rim. There's the center. There's all the hardware. So you're just going to take all the 10 millimeter bolts out. The four bigger ones are for the center, and then the ones around it are for the rim. But before you do that, you need to let the air out of it. Make sure you let the air out. And then once you let the air out, then take all the bolts. And then once you take the bolts out, you can get it ready. So yeah, now, I'm not gonna show this part because there's tons of videos on how to take this apart. So I'll just show you once we start getting working on them. All right, you guys. So we're out here chugging along. We got this painted up. And then we got the wheels done. So this is how they are. Black wheels with the copper centers. It's to match the rest of it. So here we are over here. See how it matches up with the shocks. Got the rears done as well. Um, we've been chugging along doing this. I'm not gonna be running a front fender. Um, I don't like it. So. That's what we've been doing. Um, I did that off camera. And then uh, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna be putting the chain on this one. We already got a bigger sprocket in here. We are doing a 42016. Our stock one was a 14 tooth. So we're going up two teeth. Um, and yeah, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of the wheels. The sprocket's painted as well. That got done. Um, yeah, let's see, let's check it out. So she looks, brakes painted as well. That was redone. A um, couple of little things. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. So yeah, let's get this chain on. Then the chain we went with is this one right here, 420 chain, gold. We got it a little long, so I'm gonna have to cut it. But uh, yeah, it won't be too bad. And then uh, it's a Japan chain as well. It's a good one. Better than, you know, what they come with. And then we get some writing in it. So yeah, it looks so much better now. And it's pretty modified now. From when we first got it to now. It's a big difference. Kind of like how it looks too. It looks cool. The wheels pop a lot now. The front headlight bezel looks good. Yeah, it looks real good. All right, you guys. So here we are. It's all back together again. There's the tires are aired up. Everything, we got a new brand new chain on there. Everything's tightened up, Loctited. 16 tooth sprocket, stock rear. Um, Changed our chain out, so the CT70 clone is pretty modded, you can say now. So we have the shocks done, chain, sprockets, carb. We got the carb done, we got the missions done. We deleted the front fender. We got the handlebars on there, the grips. We got the rims done. We got the exhaust. Well, she looks good. It's looking real good now. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys want to see next? What do you guys want to... What should I do now? But yeah, so far she's extremely fun to ride. And now it's real solid now. Now it's like literally legit. I have no issues at all. 
everything that needed to be gone through is gone through. Now it's a rideable bike.